How's it going everybody? It's Carl here and we got another video here and today I'm going to show you my portable power box and I'm going to explain how this is going to play a big role in a lot of things I do. Here is my portable power box by Ice Hole Power Box and before I go any farther I just want to say nobody from Ice Hole Power Box has paid me to talk about the box to make this video, none of that. There's no paid advertisement. So this is coming from me. And like, I haven't got a lot of use out of it yet, but we will we will be testing it out and see how it performs and you know, what I like, what I don't like, you know, but this will, that'll be throughout time, right? But anyways, so if you do decide to buy a pre-built box, you know, there's multiple places you can buy them. You know, they do, they, you know, they're, they're over a hundred bucks, right? But the quality you get with buying a pre-built one is, I think, unmatched, you know? Because I've seen a couple videos of guys and just the wiring jobs they do. You know, look how neat this looks. This is what I wanted. I want it to look nice and neat and hassle-free. I've seen guys, you know, there's wires going everywhere. There's not together it's not like you know together like a wiring harness you know it's just it looks like a wiring mess and <laughs> and you know wiring messes if you work on cars you know people that wire their own stuff and don't do a nice job it turns into a rat's nest but so that's why i went with a pre-built box so far i am not disappointed at doing that sure the price it's a little steep but i think it's worth it now you can most certainly go buy your own box for very cheap, very cheap. And then all these switches that are on here, like I even the gauge panel and the outlets, you could buy this panel right here on Amazon for like less than $20, right? And all the switches and stuff, you can probably get them for 20 of them for you know, five, $10 on Amazon. And then these posts, you know, a couple bucks. Even the, uh, the UV charger for lures, you can get that for you know, I don't know, 20 bucks, right? Because this is just 3D printed. You just find somebody that, you know, makes them. But what I'm saying is, yeah, you can go that route. And there's nothing wrong with that. I would advise doing a nice, you know, nice job on it. But yeah, everything looks clean. I'm, I'm very impressed. I did buy it without the batteries because I knew right now in like current time that the local Shields as you know they do their ice fishing sale and a lot of people buy lithium batteries around this time to power their electronics so i went out and i bought two 15 amp hour batteries because this box comes powered for two batteries and so that's 30 amp hours total and that's going to be that should power a lot of things for me especially in my fish house and the boat i'm going to be building which this is why i also went with a power box because Instead of just running batteries and having a rat's nest, you know, with my fishing boat that I'm going to build, this is going to be the solution because I can run power. I have multiple posts I can run power out of and say one side could power all the lights, all the LED lights on the, uh, on the fishing boat. And the other one can maybe run a radio. I don't know if that'll last long on 30 amp hours. I'm not really sure. I haven't really looked into it. But we, you know, we can always test that and see how long batteries are going to last. And then obviously we got LED lights on this side too. Oh, uh, I got to have the master switch on. We got LED lights. I mean, that's kind of cool. That's nice. You know, it's like a flashlight when you're carrying it. Or you got the UV charger for the lure. That's cool. But especially for the fishing boat, you know, it'd be nice to quickly disconnect all the wiring. And then you can bring it in, bring the battery in, or the batteries in, I should say. And right there, you got a charging port that you just plug in. And then you have to have a special charger for the lithium batteries, which these batteries did come with. So I have two of them. But yeah, you just plug in the charger, plug it into the outlet, and you're, you're charging. So that is nice. That's kind of why, I you know, I wanted this power box also. Because just the, you know, the less mess, like, you know how you've seen some boats, you know, there's about 30 wires going to each post because they're, you know, it's powering several different things on a boat, and then you got to undo all that wiring mess. 
and then just to take in the battery, you know, to the battery charger and charge it. You know, yeah, some boats have the plug. You just plug it in and it's charging the battery. But but this is kind of what I was more looking for because I get more use out of it throughout the year. So, like I said, this is going to power the boat. This will power my fish, fish house in the winter. I'm sure we can find some other things that it can power throughout the downtimes. This is the whole shebang all in one, and I'm... I'm fairly happy with it so far. So, yeah, so throughout time, I will I will let you guys know what I truly, truly think or what I've experienced. But thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.